hi what's going on how are you guys doing today uh, i was supposed to be started just reading but i kept you know how you you know you about to be great when you do something and you doing it and you're gonna get excited and everything start happening the printer didn't want to work the computer wouldn't work it wouldn't it wouldn't boot up it wouldn't nothing then it froze then I got my son's computer. It said it didn't want to help either. Then I was like, you know what? I'm not doing this reading. I'm not doing nothing. I will go to the library before I claim defeat. Soon as I did that, everything started working. Every, literally, everything just started working. It wouldn't let me log in. My passcode was wrong. It was like, what is going on? And then another thing, I'm getting another computer. I, I will never get this computer again. Lavino, whoever that is. Y'all know I can't pronounce shit. Grammar is so stupid to me anyway. Oh, anyway, how y'all doing? How, how y'all doing? I want to know, like, if any of y'all have any businesses, because y'all let me know. I would love to support any way I can, as much as I can, if I can. You know what I'm saying? Now, if y'all selling uh, $700 crystals, like, baby, listen, if you don't got afterpay, you got me fucked up. But uh, I would like to know what businesses you all have and let's share with each other and shit. It's a thing that um, New Era Detroit used to do before they broke all up. They used to, uh, well, I forgot the name they had gave it, but they had put it out there and every Sunday, they had put a black business out there and every Sunday it caused on the community to come flood that dog on business and a lot of people was just getting sold the hell out like it was the best thing ever but you know ego and pride but the people's action the people action is different now that's like members of the uh the members i messed with really with new era detroit check them out google them them niggas show up in the damn city county building they they they, they went to land saying like what's t sis that little girl that they yanked out the car, I think it ain't it. Yep, they pulled up. Like, y'all got us fucked up. Y'all pulled them guns out on that little bitty ass girl. She was a little 17-year-old girl with a permit. And she was taking her brothers and sisters literally down the street. Literally down the street. She picked them up from the football game or something like that. And they drew guns on them kids. And they was 13 and 14. Literally down the street. And it wasn't even like it was like they asked her a question. It's like they opened the door and then snatched her out. It was it was it was really jacked up. Um, I used to help them uh patrol the neighborhood early in the morning, uh, and take the kids to school. I mean, make sure the kids got to school because in the neighborhood I grew up in, four eight two three eight. It's like one of the number one neighborhoods in Detroit for human trafficking, and it was. Man, I couldn't believe it, y'all. It was the saddest little things, too, because I was seeing little bitty kids, like preschoolers, walking to school. Like at 5 o'clock in the morning, walking to school. 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, walking to school, like from a distance. It was just like, the fact that they even got to walk a half a mile is sad to me. And it's not that they had to walk it, because I walked longer than that, but it was they were by themselves, and they was. How old is you in preschool? Five or six? And then that one little bitty boy, I wanted him to get in my car, but I just cruised behind him. He had his big oversized book bag. His coat wasn't zipped. I told him to zip his coat up, though. He did do that because I told him, I was like, zip your coat up, boy. And he just did it. And uh, he was just walking with whatever sun he had in his head, bouncing along. It was just so dark. Uh, one of the parents, they went to her door. I ain't gonna lie, they went to her door and she was drunk. Drunk or something. I was just like, whoa, whoa, they gonna get a mouthful. But she didn't do it. She didn't act how I thought she was gonna act. You know that she was appreciative and she had said she had just lost her job and was depressed. That's what was wrong with her. They helped her. Of course, they helped her get a job and, you know. So look, I go in my daughter's room because she always in my room messing my stuff. I go in her room and look at what we have here. Who does she think she is? Okay, who does she think she is? So she's sitting up here with her chlorophyll fresh, ma'am. But it was so good. It's mint. Yeah, I took some. What the heck you thought? I took me some. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, what's the energy for Cancelito? Because I said I was going to do a Celtic cross, but I'm so... I think that uh, all that mess just pissed me off. But we about to just see y'all energy. What's going on? What's coming in? What's coming in for Cancelio? Because I'm telling y'all, if y'all have not seen an incline, if y'all have been seeing a decline, it is something you need to clear. It's something you need to let go of. I'm going to tell y'all something. Real talk. That's just for the particular people. A lot of us is really and truly ready to love, but we're scared to love. But you got to understand that fear is causing someone not to come in. Or fear is causing you not to meet or you not ready. I'm not going to say obsess over love, but go date and mingle and have fun, flirt. And, you know, toot that thing up, mama, let it roll. You know, put that freakum dress on. Go let your hair down. Cut it off. Whatever you do. Spring is in the air. Spring is in the air. Spring is everywhere. Uh, Y'all might be wondering why I got that picture up. The pi I I'm about to let y'all know about the picture I got up. But it's the first piece of green that I seen at my house. It, it boomed through. It's like the first piece of spring. So for the last three years is when I started paying it attention. And that's when I know spring is coming and it just snowed. We had an ice storm. Then we had a beautiful day yesterday. And then I woke up and it was this shit. <laughs> so what's going on with Cancer Leo Cuts with an ancestors? Let's talk about the, mix, the, the energy. Rise. Right. So here we go, number 22. This us, y'all. This us, boo. It's us. It's time to rise. And now rise up. Come on, right? Come on, now rise up. I'm about to play that. I'm about to play that rise up, y'all. <laughs> Mm -mm. So go ahead and rise y'all tails on up. I'm doing so much stuff. So hopefully by the end of next week, I'm going to start showing y'all the things I'm doing. I left the website I was with, went to Etsy. I almost got everything uploaded. By the end of the day, I'm going to have a link for y'all to book. If y'all want to, other than that, go check out the Gmail. I mean, check my Gmail out for if you want to read me. It's, everything is still, what did I say, $35? $35 to the screen equal not. My Etsy is going to be all uh, my products I had, but at super reduced because I'm still waiting on. Uh, I, I, I'm creating. I think I'm a specialized. Uh, orders of one of the products I'm gonna have when I get done with my sisters. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. It's gonna be per order. I'm not about to just design stuff and put it on the internet. Like, it's just crazy. And, um, yeah, so and the other products that's gonna be here that I'm putting on there, I might be linking my sister's waist beads in if anybody interested in those. Uh, but it's baby steps for me right now. I'm not about to lose my mind because I'm doing too much stuff and I'm starting a whole new business. So, yeah. What's the energy? I mean, what's the messages for my Cancer Leo Cups? But I'm here. Y'all can still Gmail me, y'all, uh, if y'all want a, a reading, if whatever. I still, I think I have another batch of cards. But they're newer if used at all. So, they're like $75 because they are some very very expensive decks but it's like six of those but but they're expensive but y'all don't have to take them coughing something dead message is spirit and ancestors for cancer leo cup so just message me let me know what's tea what's up or if y'all want anything hey, it keep coming out why I keep eat look no matter how much time when it took it's still here more messages, spirit, and ancestors for Cancer Leo Cups. And now I, I see the raven. I posted the thing about the raven because he was outside at the top of the tree and he kept making this freaking noise and it drew me all the way out the door. I went outside, y'all. Oh, look, you got a snake in your mist. Be careful now. The raven could be warning you of this snake. This don't look like a raven, though. This looks like a um, eagle. 
he was screaming. He was hollering. He was all the way at the tip top of that branch where them two birds had set when um I walked outside only to find out my dad had passed, y'all. It was so terrible. And then it was like once once it was released, it was all out my sisters in their mouth that he had passed, the bird flew away. And then the raven screamed and hollered. You want to know when he flew away? He flew away with a white, like a, they say they're not albino, but it was a white raven with little bitty black patches on it. I had never seen anything like it in my life. Never, never, ever seen anything like that in my life. It's a snake in y'all miss, y'all. It's a snake in y'all miss. I'm saying minimize what y'all got going on and minimize what y'all doing, minimize what y'all saying, because everybody sad to say it's not happy for you. I don't know what else to say. Everybody is not happy for you. Everybody do not want the success. You to have that success. They do not want you to be great. They didn't want you to rise up against your mania. And you know who else I'm going to tell y'all to look out for? I'm about to tell y'all the truth about this. Look out for them people who who you deleted off of Facebook and Instagram because, baby, they want to fight. Look out for them people who just can't get into your life and see what they see what you got going on, seeing what y'all doing. Get, look out. <laughs> look out because they on the prowl and they upset. I, I really believe that y'all are being, uh, your name is being written. You could be written next to a damn very highly spiritual ancestor or it's some type of document. It's something about to be talked about. It's a something about to come towards you. Something is about to be said, but trust and believe. It's a snake connected to this. And I'm not saying in a bad way. No, I mean, yeah, the snake is in a bad way. I'm not saying what you about to receive is about to be bad. It's about to be, I feel like about the snake, about to, a lot of snakes is about to start showing the hell up. Look, that's that seven. It's time for you to start facing another level of devious, envious, malicious people. Because, you know, once you level up, more money, more problems. They wouldn't lie. Once more money start coming in for you, what more stability. You start looking better. You start being more organized. Once that start happening, a higher level of a hater come. Or a snake. Or a malicious en enemy. And that's why you got to keep your circle tight. So what's the, give me some um, energy for this uh, Ten of Diamonds. What is it we need to know about this? <laughs> I got to turn this down. This reminds me so much of my niece. Because it's her son, child. You can't tell her nothing because she took a DNA test. And I was like, and you did what? She said, I found out I am 100% the shit. I'm like, well, you might as well have to say it the bitch then. <laughs> Give it, what's going on with this Ten of Diamonds, this book energy, Spirit and Ancestors? What's going on? Tell us about it. Something is about to, something is about to be told. Something is about to make sense to you. Okay, I got to get a grip on these cards. They skitty boo boo and all everywhere for you. And it might be a message or something that you're going to need to hold on to your seat, hold on to the wall, or sit down. Cause it's going to bring clarity. This is going to bring some type of clarity to you. It's like jinkies. Y'all know how I am about clarity. Clarity is straight up jinkies to me. Uh, tell me more. Tell me more about this book energy, this Ten of Diamonds, Spirit and Ancestors for Cancer Leo Cup. And look, look, look inside of the globe. Birds. More messages of clarity. The book. Messages of clarity, bird, messages of clarity, ancestors watching over you, protection, because you got to look to the clouds. Oh, God, I got to tell y'all what happened last night, yesterday. I was at Kroger's, right, and I just had pulled in. So the lady that was this way, but on the other part, it's like I looked at this wind. I was looking at this wind and, and stuff was blowing like on a path, but not everywhere. So then, let's see, now the lady was putting her groceries in the car. Her hair flew everywhere. Good thing she ain't her wig on. The, her clothes was like flying off of her. 
and the whole thing of groceries flew out her hand almost over to my car. So then I'm up there looking and holding on to my wheel. Like, am I stabbing out? What, like, what am I doing? Because first we about to round up my son. I'm going to get my daughter. I don't know where we going, but we getting the hell up out of here. So then I'm looking and I'm looking at this little, it's like, the beginning of a snowstorm, honestly, because it was coming in and it started turning. Then the birds that was like, and not the birds out of the tree, the bird that was flying, you can hear him holler because he got the crap knocked out of here. It was just like everything just started flying all across the damn freeway. I mean, a mile. And I was just like, what in the hell is going on? I ain't never seen nothing like that before, y'all. So don't judge me, okay? Tell me more about this ten of diamonds. I never seen that like in my face. That's something you see on. Oh, forgiveness. I will be crying. Hold on. Hold on. You know what I feel like? This is something being hidden from you. This is probably something that was stolen from you. This could be somebody realizing who you are. But whatever the hell it is. Now, after being a snake, be careful. They might seek forgiveness for this energy. You know what I'm saying? For, the, for their behavior. But we're going to see how it clarifies. Okay? Tell us more about this uh, bird's energy, these owls. What is these things anyway? Well, look what we got here. It's a finding. Finding came out with spirit guy and the truth. Ooh, you got spirit guy and the damn truth. All we're finding. Finding spirit guy and the truth. I'm telling you, look. To me, as far as I know, she looking in this damn ball. This just got fancy trimming around it, but she looking in this ball. It's something in here. It look like a house, but it's some type of truth. Some type of clarity is being brought to you. It's going to help you find something or somebody, or you going to find somebody or something, but you're going to be... I don't know the forgiveness. It's probably going to be something you need to forgive yourself for too, y'all. Something you possibly might need to forgive yourself for. And your spirit guides. Your spirit guides is going to be coming to you at this time, helping you out with this information. And a lot of y'all need to pay attention. Uh, they're probably already there. Waiting on you to figure it out. Look at this. But see, look at this too. Look at the bubble around her. This is protection. That's that... That's that, uh, I ain't going to say blind, but it's that protection you don't even see that you have. This is like, like, I'm just getting so happy with her. This little ball of peace, that peace and serenity you have with yourself. Just with yourself. Finding yourself in the spirit, guys, the ancestor is making sure you are all right. Or this could be somebody you don't even know because this can be. A Cimarron ancestor, like somebody way back. Tell me about this snake energy. This Queen of Club snake energy for Cancer Leo. Because who is this? Who is this? Who is this snake motherfucker? Who you protected from him? Tell me about this snake motherfucker. Peace. Oh. You protected from this and I never got this peace card before. I ain't gonna never lie. I ain't never got I think I got truth before, but I never got this peace card. You you're gonna be protected from this person. This is someone you possibly had to grieve. This is something that's gonna bring you some type of peace, finding out who this snake is, possibly. Tell us more. This person has no peace within his soul, though. Tell me more. This could be an ancestor though. Manifestation this snake is doing. I'm going to tell you one more other thing. Shit, who said a spirit guy can't be a snake? This person is, uh, it could be somebody at night to seven. Tell me more about this snake energy. A friendship. Oh, this is a dirty hoe. This is a friend. Somebody got a friend that ain't right now who do not wish you well. 
it's a friend out here that do not wish you well. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh. I'm going to need y'all to check into this, okay? Y'all dig deep. Dig deep. Stop smiling in these helpless faces. Thinking they're your friends and they love you. And oh, she had never. We've been friends 35 years. That's the one. That's the one. That is the one. Or, or what? My best friend at the time, my son got mama, used to call her my baby mama. Because you know that chick who always was there with the damn baby? Not with the baby. The one that was there with you for the baby more than the daddy was. Sometimes she was the baby mama. Snake. That bitch is a snake, man. And not boosting on it, but here it is almost 10 years later after, yeah, since 2013. So, no, 2016. So, is that seven years later? She needs a, a kidney transplant expeditiously. I told my son and gave him the option to contact her, but... You can't force children to do things, especially when they come get uh, of age. And, you know, people don't understand when you hurt somebody, family member that really supports them, take care of them, good, bad, and ugly, you can't expect them to jump on the bandwagon. And why do people think just because someone is dying, hurt, or ill that you're supposed to just throw stuff under the rug that that person has done to you? Who told y'all that's how life goes? No. Mm -mm. That's how a lot of children get abused. You constantly telling the kid to stop doing something. Oh, just look at him. Oh, look at them playing. But the whole time, the kid parrot, parrot, petrified. Oh, stop being mean of him. What do you mean stop being mean to him? They're scared. Anyway, don't get me started. Number 12, birds, owls. They're my favorite, them owls. This card represents gossip, chatter, hearsay, Chinese whispers, and rumors. Ooh. It also shows conversations, debate, and curi curiosity. In modern terms, this can be electronic communication. So telephone and social media are very much indicated. With the rider, you have to spread in the gossip. With the cross or coffee, you have destruct destructive or hurtful gossip. And this process, the, the, the coffin had came out before anything was anything. So just, just be careful. Somebody could be saying something to hurt you. With the garden, you have a place to exchange news. With the book, confidential information has been leaked. Somebody got into your, your, your database, your mainframe. Because the book is right there. So pay attention. And it could have been a friend. A friend could have leaked some type of information about you via social media. Okay? So although you might not even care... Uh, uh, but see this is the thing when somebody try to put you out or talk about you like a dog rest in sure at the same time they're making you more popular whether it's good or bad because people is attracted attractive to negativity and positivity so i'm not saying welcoming in but there if you are running some type of business or anything they are promoting your name so people like me will investigate the threat that they have upon you and if i feel like somebody is being biased jealous or just envious I'm going to support the person that you're attacking. So really, 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 really be careful. Start like when I um, follow people or I really, really study your page or pay attention to what you're doing because I deleted a lot of people because it's a lot of stuff I don't want to show up in my feed. I don't, especially on my business account or when I'm in my business mode like now. I'm not trying to see all of your extra explicit shit. I'm not trying to see you and your baby daddy going back and forth. I don't care. Okay? I'm not trying to see everybody who put up a fake facade. I, I'm not that type of internet uh, personality. If anybody want to know, I am not about to live in the land of the lost for clicks and views. I'm not about to do it for nobody. 
the snake queen of cups and, and, and that just goes to show you it, it's most definitely a female uh, or whatever they might come towards you in peace and probably claim some type of manifestation with you in friendship and unity but i don't know this person is an op this card represents a dishonest or devious person so they're very dishonest and they're devious malice or danger lurks in the shadows okay deception or manipulation can be at play in your relationships the snake is sly and slippery, okay? Representing all things poisonous. Ooh. When the snake appears next to any car, you should act with caution. Somebody's talking bad, baby. Somebody is talking very bad. If it appears with the coffin or the scouch coupled with the fox. Wait, wait. It said, when a snake appears next to any car, you should act with caution, in particular if it appears with the coffin or the shop. Coupled with the fox, you should apply double caution for this deception. We see, this seems, this seems lethal. This is a mad motherfucker now, y'all. This is somebody with intentions to hurt, like really, really want to fuck you up. Let's get into it, though. Let's, let's, let's see what Spirit got to say. This might be a long one, so kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKV, just to the Empress B. Just kick it. Just kick it. I want to hear that. <laughs> I really do hope y'all are taking time for yourself. I had to be told that today, so I went and got a pedicure, okay? I needed to just relax. You want to know who told me that? My daughter. Because she said, you didn't get up not one time last night. Then she said, she came upstairs and was talking to me. And I was like, I didn't remember nothing. She said, I was so tired. Then I fell asleep. It's like, I literally pushed play and fell asleep. And I woke up in a weird way. That's how you know you fell asleep. And then on top of that, I was high. So don't judge me. Kick off your shoes and... I don't own right this music, guys. So, Spirit, tell us about this. Uh, but I'm going to tell you something. No matter what they say, you about to rise above this whole situation. Believe that. You about to rise above it. Whoever thought whoever thought that they was going to try it or they was going to come for you, they about to rise up against it. Um, this is someone you have a friendship with, okay? Now, it, it, it looked like... We going to see. I don't want to put no gangster on it yet. I don't want to say, because you can have a friendship with your mate or your lover. But I don't think this is a mate. I think somebody could be talking to somebody you talk to and jealous. Jealous that you have this energy. Jealous that you have this person. Give me some um, love messages for Cancer Leo Cups with an ancestor. Addiction. Whoa. Give me some messages, spirit and ancestors, for Cancer Leo Cups. I don't know why I like this deck so much, y'all. I need a new one. Water got on it. I still got it in my Amazon cart. Seduction. Ooh, baby. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. More messages, spirit and ancestors. You know, addictions can be a third-party interference also. Abundance is here. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. And here go manifest again. So, I really believe that you're in a safe place and you're manifesting while the odds is against you or while people are against you. I think a lot of people are mad because they cannot get in and figure out what is going on. How How is your life going? It's like the little bit of time they see or hear from you, you don't look scathed. You know what I'm saying? It don't look like nothing wrong with you. It don't look like it don't look bad for you at all. Because I'm still alive. They might come in and try to seduce you. It might be somebody that try to Go from a friend to a lover. To set outdated thinking, conditioning. It's a conditioning, replaying events over in their head. 
It got girl talk here, time with friends, moving on, happily single, li living the moment, and having fun. And heart with a key, welcoming, love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, and perfect. And that's how I feel. I, I really believe a lot of y'all are trying to, um, y'all just open to a, a good person. But right now, you're having fun. You're hanging with your girls. Be careful with one of those girls, though. Fellas, too, if y'all got a chick out here, y'all call y'all homegirl or y'all friend, she might be secretly lusting behind you. And women can't sabotage relationships because they secretly want you. So be careful. Somebody could just have somebody that somebody else that wants you and wants to stop. So they decide to sabotage a connection. Or you know how dudes, they had a homeboys who want you. So they sit up there and talk bad about you with their old dusty, crusty feet ass. They always dusty and crusty feet. Look, I made a mess here, y'all. <sighs> Let's clarify. Let's clarify the moon. Oh, yeah, it's hitting. Something that's in secret. Something that's in the dark. Some, it's something surrounding some type of fear, too. It could be something you fear, something they fear. It could be something said about you, don't want said about you, or you don't want told. You don't want nobody to bring it up. You don't want it to be exposed, okay? That's why I said there's somebody out here on some bullshit. Somebody is mad and heartbroken about whatever the fuck you did, whatever the hell happened, or you... you you know how people like, um, you too happy, ho. You ever had somebody tell you that? You too happy? Or, um, I bet I see you with a new pair of shoes again. Like, you ever seen people like that? Like, I don't give a fuck because you got a new outfit. Like, pay attention to them funny jokes that people think is jokes, but they not. It's nothing about some of the stuff these people saying is jokes. People are haters. Tell me about this book energy, spirit and ancestors. What's in this book, child? Somebody probably got text messages, pictures. It is just, just a petty bitch. Petty, hating ass hoe. Trying to take stuff and switch it all around. Defamation. That was a big word. Defamation. Tell me more about uh, this book, spirit and ancestors. Could be a fire sign. Knight of Wands in reverse. Out here, reckless, moving wild. Didn't we have this ignorant person now? Page of wine. Some type of bad news is coming with this book. Somebody has found out something bad. Somebody is putting something bad out about you. I really do think somebody is trying to infiltrate you. Hating ass for the fish. This is somebody who don't have no drive. Or they, they, you know what they could be saying? They could be saying, you gullible, you easy to get. You, you, you the thon wine. You the ta 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 licious, okay? You move abruptly. Oh, uh, you can get that. You don't got to do nothing. You can get that. This is an un, 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 they're not focused. Look, this is somebody that's going through a whole lot or so they're projecting out. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Somebody that's projecting out. Somebody who's drinking a lot, partying a lot. Okay, somebody is needy and very much so greedy. Somebody who mama is just as toxic as this, them. Or they have to unite with their mama. They have a mother out here that they're dealing with that isn't no damn good either. Tell me about this page of wines in reverse for this book. Why's the knife for wines in reverse? This is the cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody got some childhood issues. But I'm going to tell you something. I don't think these childhood issues is yours. But somebody could have been saying, like, you was a hoe back in the day. Right? Or you a fuck for $50. I don't know. You know, niggas, niggas say all types of dumb shit if you ask me. Somebody might say they got you on video. They got pictures of you, right? But the whole time they can't stop looking at you. They can't stop wanting you. They can't stop lusting you. They got all of this negativity to say about you. <gasps> you know what I thought? Oh, my God. It was this Lifetime movie, y'all. Mind you, it was like six hours long, and I watched it. Don't judge me. But it was based on the true story. And one thing you can't get me not to watch is a true story, goddamn. I'm watching a true story. But the woman, her husband used to like for her to do slutty, nasty stuff with her. him And take pictures and stuff. So when she was leaving him because she found out he was cheating, he sent all of that shit to her job. And she was a lawyer. She was a partner at a law firm. 
all those pictures. Ooh, little asshole. This is some childhood issues that's going on with somebody. This is this could be a masculine that has a problem with feminine energy, okay? And I was talking to somebody earlier and I was trying, I was explaining, they understood. I was explaining how a lot of women believe that the negative masculine energy is the male. No, it could be you. You could be a negative masculine energy, okay? You could be on some toxic, aggressive, uh, manipulative. What I'm just saying, if the, the masculine is negative, it could be you. Stop assuming uh, masculine is automatically a male. No, it's not. We are yin and yang. We birth both of them. We have both of them within us. You just have to start learning uh, when you are a masculine, just like I told you, learn when you are a, a queen of swords, a queen of cups, a, a queen of pentacles, or a king of pentacles. Learn when you're in that mindset or in that energy. I care for you. Hold on. Stay strong. Somebody could have mama issues. I keep hearing mama issues. Somebody might have a problem with their mom. Somebody have a beef with their mom and they haven't taken care of this beef with their mom. Some, some people haven't healed from the, something that you did to them in the past. Somebody could be mad about a child. Somebody could be mad at you for having a child with somebody else. That's just how petty people is, okay? Tell us about these owls, spirit, and ancestors. What is these owls about for Cancer Leo Cup? Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. Give me another card for these owls. Justice. Oh. Look how that came out. With the strength at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's trying to deplete you of your value. Somebody's trying to say you're not worth it. Don't even work on this. Don't invest in this person. Don't give to this person. Somebody is trying to trick someone. This is somebody trying to manipulate others not to give or to invest in you or to come towards you. This is what they're trying to do, but justice is here. Karma is being restored. Balance is being restored. Healing is being restored. Nothing they said is making sense. Somebody has probably tried to woo somebody into believing in them, and they all has failed. So everything negative they have said about you, it, justice has been served on what they have said. They're not the ones that's worthy of being invested in. Ooh, spirit out here crying in the day. Tell me about this justice, though, spirit and ancestors. What was the justice that was served? Because I'm nosy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh, look. Oh, bitch, look. King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Ooh. Somebody didn't gather the hoe. This nigga's a hoe. Somebody even gathered the hoe. And then I say somebody might think you the masculine. Somebody might think you the hoe and they a queen of cups. Ooh, child, I can't take it. I can't take this reading already. Look how she looking at him. I'm like, you cute. I sit on your face, but that's it. I don't know. Because honestly, if you look at his face, I wonder is this a rival? Is this a rival? Let's get something else out here and see what Spirit got to say. Spirit, what is this justice here for? This community. I think somebody then for somebody that's a hoe, everybody is realizing whoever this King of Wands is is an op. They're a hater. They're jealous. That masculine, this could be a feminine energy that could be jealous, trying to hurt you, trying to come for you. Uh what is that? Aries Leo Sagittarius out here spreading rumors about you talking about you. Bitch. Tell me, tell me about this justice energy, spirit and ancestors. Tell me about this justice energy for my cancer Leo cup. What was this justice that was served? Ten of, ten of swords in reverse. 
Ten of Swords is in reverse and the Six of Swords in reverse and came out. You healed from this. You moved on for this. You grabbed those out your back. And uh, you know what I think? I think this person is seeing everybody who they talked, then they spent, they talked about you too. Um, like showing you support, showing you love, being there for you, having your back, liking you, defending you maybe. A lot of people are starting to see these attacks that was put on you. They held, they held no weight. And this Six of Swords in reverse, it really do just look like somebody uh, can't come towards you anymore and they're mad. This is some bitterness here. Yeah, you have the patience and you got the heal and you heal from these lies because you was protected. It could have been a Queen of Pentacles out here doing this because she lost her man. Could have said, you a sad hoe, you a cheater, you a whatever the fuck. She tried to act like she was happy in this committed relationship. She wasn't happy as shit. She wasn't happy. But see, she tried to uh, manipulate a, uh, an intuitive one. And she got manipulated one. She wanted to be low vibration, though, to keep her man. And she found out the hard way that he didn't want no low vibration, no chick. <laughs> Let me shut the hell up. Because I don't even know where that came from. But he didn't. He didn't want no uh low vibration, no chick. What's wrong with that? Tell me. um. Tell me about this uh snake. Who is this snake, spirit and ancestor? Oh, God damn. Not a whole dead king of pentacles. Oh, a devil. And a ten of coins. What the fuck? This a rich eight-figure nigga that's obsessed with you, bitch. And he a snake. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Chariot, strength, hangman, hair fine in reverse, ace of pentacles in reverse, king of swords in reverse. What the fuck? You know what? This this King of Pentacles ain't got no money. This King of Pentacles is obsessed with money. He's obsessed with having the Ten of Pentacles. And he gonna have it by any means necessary. He don't care who he gotta go towards or who he gotta fuck with or who he gotta deal with. He coming in to take your pinnacle. He not about to offer you shit. This is like somebody that's not offering shit. I don't know. This person is obsessed with commitment or stability or finance financial gain that's what they is they're obsessed with money they probably gonna feed you whatever line they need to feed you to get what the hell they want bro i'm not lying to you this man is dirty and they could be obsessed with trying to make you their wife too i can't just make it all about that this could be you you probably got obsessed with money and and i don't know you probably got Somebody might be in too deep financially with it with somebody. You you using this Capricorn Virgo Taurus person as somebody could be letting the Earth sign or using a Earth sign because they have finances. So you overlooking their toxicity, and and that shows a lot about you. I said, "What the fuck?" I said, "You want to get mad? Get mad." Get, get mad. We get mad around here. Get mad. Turn up. Turn up. You using somebody for finances because you want some type of stability with them, okay? This person is sick. This is not for everybody. This could be somebody that's just obsessed over having a commitment with you or being with you. But somebody I felt, I heard that somebody is dealing with this person because of what they got and they're ignoring their obsession. Now, what I do know about a cancer, that's the, that's the lowest kid's freak I know. Like just the, just, can, everybody can think they the queen of freaky but ain't nobody as freaky to me as a cancer because they keep that shit low key. And then you get in the bedroom, you got 12 kids. Tell me about this king of coins. So this could be y'all secret obsession, your secret obsession with this person and the fact that they got money. Somebody probably think that this person, I don't know. Look, this nigga is obsessed with money and he'll do anything to get it. He'll marry the devil. He'll marry the devil for it. Tell me about this king of coins. Tell me about this king of coins for their ancestors. Who 
to look at the shirt. Please on my mind. Don't it be the three of wands in reverse. He ain't going nowhere in his life. He ain't got nothing going on in his life. Ain't nothing coming towards him. When you live by the dollar, you die by the do dollar. Tell me about this devil energy. What is this devil energy here for, Spirit and Ancestors? I think I'm going to get a different deck to clarify the uh, other oracle cards, the spell casting oracle. Tell me about this devil energy, Spirit and Ancestors, for Cancer Leo. The Eight of Cups is in reverse. Oh, baby, he coming back. He coming back. <laughs> That motherfucker coming back. He about to fuck with you, ho. He about to get you. He about to gather your ass. <laughs> Why is this funny to me? Eight of Cups, he's the return of the return of the. That nigga think he got some money. He obsessed with you. You know what? Either he got money, he didn't got some money, and he going to feed his obsession. And his obsession might be you. He could be lusty you. He must be obsessed with you. He could be in love with you. He could have hid a lot of stuff. But he coming in and he coming in hot. And he on some fuckery shit though in a, in a sense. He's on some fuckery shit. Tell me about this. He probably gonna do a lot of devious manipulative shit to get you to commit to him. And a lot of men do that. They'll trick the hell out of you. Because this Ten of Pentacles is a high, high power of commitment. This person gonna release some type of finances to you to hold on to you now, baby. Be careful. Be careful. They gonna be low-key using your name. I mean, low key using your name. That's you know you in trouble right along with them, and that's you know somebody taking all your assets, and you sitting up there like, but I didn't, I didn't. They like you married them. Yes, you did. Tell me why this ten of pentacles here for my cancer Leo cups. Why is this ten of pentacles here for my cancer Leo cups? Somebody can see. Ooh, look, y'all, y'all got some some shit going on here. You probably got a father that left an inheritance. Or this King of Pentacles then found out he got an inheritance left to him from a father. You about to enter into this uh, King of Pentacles energy. You might have some arrogance to you. Possibly. Possible. This could be the judge ordering this Ten of Pentacles to you. Some type of finances has come towards you and somebody has been behind your back snaking. This is like somebody wants to uh, drop your check off at the wrong house and somebody got caught cashing it and now it has all been put back through the system and now it's about to come back to you certified mail. <laughs> That's how I see that. Tell me about this Emperor energy. What is this Emperor doing with this Ten of Pentacles? The Five of Coins is in reverse. Clearing his name, getting out of debt. So this, this person could have went from a King of Coins and his obsession for money made him an emperor. And he cleared this name. He cleared his debt. What did this person want? To, what what did this? What do they want with Cancer Leo Cup, Spirit and Ancestors? Nine of Coins and the Musician in Reverse, baby. They this is an obsessive energy. They don't want you to do nothing. They want to do everything. They want to control you. They want to manipulate you. They want you to fall for their bullshit. <laughs> Bro, why they want you to fall for their dumb shit? Love to test yourself. That's what they want, y'all. This nigga wants you to sit up there and be his little stupid house. Stupid house. They want to fucking uh, manipulate you. They want you to, uh, they want you to be dumb. They need you to be dumb. So you can um, fall for they bullshit, they snakery. I do not like this person, okay? Somebody probably look at you as this missed opportunity too, but at the same time for them wanting you, wanting to um, manipulate you. And then they gonna come. They gonna come at the wrong time. They ain't gonna be in the plan nothing. They gonna try to just pull up on you, thinking they got a whole bunch of money, and you about to go run off with them. And you like, nigga, I just, I just, uh, I just got me a whole bunch of fucking money. You know what I'm saying? You know how somebody come pull up on you like they the shit. You know what that did? That happened to me. The bull pulled up like he got a dog on a new car. Whoop de whoop 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 whoop. And I was like, oh, that's sweet, that's nice. And the next week, I had a new car. His was crashed. <laughs> You never win when you're dirty. 
Somebody wants you to be, this, this person actually wants you to be down on your look so they can come in and like save the day. They want to manipulate you into believing that they're here to get you out of debt, to save the doggone day. Because like I said, remember I told you people don't know what you got going on, how things grooving and how things moving with you. So they want to come in and act like they're saving the doggone day, but really they're giving you a fucking headache because I got one. Somebody is coming in to give you a damn headache. This isn't this 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 don't seem genuine at all. This is a snake. This is a highly that was that King of Swords energy, very cunning and manipulative, very strategic. Excuse me. You could this this emperor also could be an ancestor that's watching over you, making sure you receive this abundance. It could be a father, baby father. I don't know. Some type of inheritance could possibly take place that you don't know nothing about. Somebody was hiding it or holding it back from you. What's one this is? Work you slow, huh? They want to work you slow. See how spirit give us confirmation? Somebody trying to work your ass slow. I'm going to do another deck, y'all. Get to the bottom. I, I got to get I gotta get Kim it out for this. To finish telling this story. These clarifications are here. Spirit, tell us about this clarity energy for my Cancer Leo Cups. What clarity is my Cancer Leo Cups about to get with this? Uh, just tell us about the clarity energy for Cancer Leo Cups. Well, I remember this. There we go. Understanding. Tell me about this clarity energy for Cancer Leo Cups. Clear to choose healing guidance and protection spirit and ancestors for Cancer Leo Cups. Hey, 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 look, some of y'all, y'all been manifesting y'all, but off have y'all. What y'all did? Tell me what y'all did. Y'all been manifesting. This person tried to block it. It didn't work. I'm telling you, somebody gonna show up and thought or think to thought to think that you didn't fold it. No, you ain't folded. They about to find out the hard dog on way. You up and it's stuck in that and you don't want them back. Child, somebody gonna find out you got a goddamn emperor and they gonna be upset. Somebody gonna find out that you got some dog on King of Pentacles. I don't know which one of these motherfuckers is. I really believe this King of Pentacles just possibly might be uh somebody you know and they didn't they didn't rose up. This is somebody who probably wanna stun on you. And then your daddy, your emperor, your, your daddy, your uncle, or somebody came in and said no. Somebody inherited money from their father. I don't know. Tell me. You got the seven of cups here and the damn page of cups is in reverse. I try so very hard. You probably thinking about why somebody couldn't didn't take your offer. It's because they had they had many offers. They had a bunch of holes. And then they got way more than you thought. Somebody probably was gonna vacate. Could have been a Scorpio. I don't know why I'm getting Scorpio here. Somebody could have vacated the premises with you. You about to find out who the fuck is jealous. Somebody emotionally immature, okay? Somebody who think having many, they like quantity over quality. That's who this person is. You better believe it. Nut is here. A star could be in the Aquarius, but some type of wish fulfillment is coming in for you. Some type of wish fulfillment about to come in. The truth is here. That's what I was thinking when the star came out. Wish fulfillment is most definitely coming, but somebody is lurking the scene and they jealous. Tell us about this uh, nut energy. What is this nut energy here for? The strength here. It, it, it also could be somebody who you, you wish well. Have you ever had somebody tell you, um, don't pray for me. Don't wish me well. You ever had somebody that, well, you don't want everybody praying for you in your way. But somebody like, I tell people I wish them well. Because I'm not about to tell you I'm going to pray for you. I'm not going to remember you doing my prayers. I ain't going to lie. I pray for my bare necessities. So right then and there, I wish everyone well. Peace and love. I do. I rather do that than sit up there and lie to you. I'm not, because I'm not about to do that. Cause 
I don't sit up there no, 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 and, and pray. I be up there talking to, to the ancestors and the spirit and source and mother nature and the, the, the cow that jumped over the moon. I be talking to all of them all doggone day long. I don't care. I don't give a fuck what nobody say about me. I be in my car talking to them. I be outside on the porch talking to them. All my neighbors know I be out here playing with the birds, the bees, the butterflies. I was running around in circles with butterflies one day. People couldn't even believe that the butterflies was running around with me. God damn it, I couldn't believe that niggas was running around with me. It was two white butterflies. They was just running all around the circle. But I don't care. People think, could think I'm crazy because I hug the tree. I'm going to always hug the tree because at the end of the day, if you empathic and you sit up there and think you done been through it all, go hug a fucking tree. I dare you. I dare you say you done been through more than a tree. A tree will make you cry just off of everything it's seen. All the years, all of the ancestors they lost. Look at him trickling away. Tell me about this strength energy. Somebody's going to be surprised for your strength. This is the second time that your Leo energy came out. The leap of faith is in reverse. You had the strength not to move forward in this connection, in this situation, or this individual. You probably gained some type of strength to stay away from somebody you really want to be with. I know how that go. Baby, now that's a, that's, that is a word, okay? That's hard to do. Especially when you like, that's just my baby daddy. Well, not not me, because I, I don't do that baby daddy crap. I don't give a damn, I know. Baby daddy. You, I feel like somebody found the strength. You got the wish fulfillment. You found the strength not to take a leap of faith towards a big head ass helper. And that's the truth. You that that truth is your strength. Period. And I love it. Tell me about uh uh forgiveness, spirit and ancestors. Why is forgiveness here for cancer Leo Cup? Oh, look, bass. Look, Bass is here. Now, Bass is the motherfucker that protects you from entities that try to attack you. This is spirit letting them know, don't have no fear. You, why do you have fear and I'm here? Something is hidden from you, but don't have no fucking fear. I got your back. These hoes ain't loyal. They ain't got nothing going on. This is six arcanas. These people are here to stop you. You have these ancestors here because you are by, you are walking into the gates of something beautiful and people are here to stop you, pyramid. Spirit is breaking up connections, bonds, exposing, making things clear to your head, to your mind and your soul. And you know what? I had somebody ask me, what did she say? She was like, so you got to wait. You think people are supposed to take a year to heal? You know what? If it takes a year for you to heal, to step back on the scene, to be a more, a better you, to step back on the scene and not allow the same thing, repetition to happen in your life, take that fucking year to heal. Okay, because I ain't going to lie, before I got back in another situation, it was three years. I don't give a damn. And then I met a dude that said he 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 stayed away for four years. Yeah, I date, I meet when I hang out, but don't, don't, I'm not about to get lost in nobody. People go from one person to the next getting lost in somebody because they want some type of attention or they fill in some type of void. Can't nobody feel but they damn self. I'm going to go out to eat. Don't give me an idea. I'm going to go out to eat. Justice at the bottom of the day. What is this moon here for? Why is this moon here spitting ancestors for forgiveness? Somebody probably wants to be forgiven for for hiding things for you, for trying to attack you, for, uh, let, let, I'm gonna read Bass to y'all, because that's not no card, that's, uh, and that's 22. Nigga, don't play with me. Don't play with my damn spirit, guys. I'm telling to. Protection, divine intervention, okay? Spiritual defense, security, and you know what? Advocate and ally. You know what happened to me? I told this to somebody. 
And it reverses dan danger, mortal activity, sorcery, that ace of wands. I mean, that magician in reverse. Lack of defense, insecurity, and uh, antagonist, antagonistic. Uh, this, this is whoever this energy is. This, this emperor or king of pentacles, whatever it was. Whoever it clarified, it's a, that's who it is. They all rallied around you and protect you from this emperor. Because this emperor is most definitely powerful. And he wanted you. He wanted you to be on his leash. This is somebody, honestly, you know what I'm thinking about now? You've probably had a strong sexual connection with this person. I'm going to keep it real. It was a strong sexual connection. You probably craved this person's sex. I'm not going to lie. This person probably was able to get in the door with you sexually anytime. And then you were comfortable with this person. So you let more out to this person. They had the key to the pool. Nine and nine and nine and nine and nine. That's why seduction here. You was, you was attracted to them very fast. Mm -hmm. Tell us about bad spirit and ancestors. I think all of these ancestors showed up to protect you. Ooh, they had to protect you against a queen of wands in reverse. Here we go, y'all. You know another thing I'm about to tell you? This could be the snake friendship. Damn, that's fucked up. This just could be the snake friendship, and I'm going to tell you why. Because they came in like a friend, like they was help. Uh, excuse me? Uh-uh. Excuse me, y'all. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> now, this is too throwback, and I wasn't ready. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh... They was the they was a friend, and you thought they was here to protect you, have your back, and be there for you. But they was the one trying to secretly stab you in your back, and Bass had to come in and protect you. Tell me about this Queen of Wands in reverse. This is probably you having to figure out that this person isn't a friend or a foe. Page of Pentacles in reverse. They they procrastinate. You know how somebody sit up there and say, "I'm gonna send you the money. I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this for you. I'm gonna do this," and it never happened. They want you to kiss their ass to do it. Or you got to remind them, like, is you still buying this? Is you still sending me the money? Is you still is you still going to do what you said you was going to do? Right? It also could be, I mean, they could be a flat-out liar. Manipulative and cunning individual. That's who this damn magician in reverse is. A manipulative individual. A liar. Eight of Wands is in reverse. This person is a liar. They're blocked from coming towards you to pull any damn thing. This could be someone that was that got left, and that's why they're mad at you. This could be someone that left, and someone wants to return to you. But the Page of Pentacles there, look, you see the Beto is not even sprouting for her. He's not even giving birth. What was I about to say? I was about to say something. This is a demanding, overbearing, aggressive, aggressive. This is a aggressive at dark, dark sorcery ass, selfish, bully, just. <laughs> Look, and she hiding in plain sight from your ass. Look, she tried to. She think you scared of her. This is the thing. This is why you can't be scared of no hoe like this, okay? You gotta fight her. And you gotta trust that your ancestors got your back. You gotta stand up to her. You gotta like. Run up on me, motherfucker. I'm ready. She think you scared of. You ain't scared of. You don't got time for. Her. And that's why she really mad. Because you're disengaged, okay? She's a fucking procrastinator. Any old dog on way. And she wonder why shit goes the way it goes for her. Because she's full of shit. And she lacks common sense. This is an impulsive energy, okay? She tried to portray like she lacked common sense. She probably really do. She probably really just might be a damn... Uh, underdog. She might feel underachieved, underworked. She probably feel like at her age she should have been a did this and this and that and that. So she'll start sexually exploiting herself, soliciting the youth, 
to make herself feel worthy or better, okay, I'll say? And then she uh, she ignored the major opportunities, the good opportunities with real individuals, and she go after what she needs to go after to be with somebody else. She's hiding that from you. She's hiding the opportunity she could have had with you as a friendship, as a loyal individual, because she's a procrastinator. She's a leech. Damn. Tell me about finding spirit and ancestors for Cancer Leo Cubs. Finding. What's this finding energy? Five of Cups in reverse. This is you finding yourself after all of the heartache, after all of the pain, after all the trials and tribulations you went through. You're finding yourself. You're finding your heart again. You're learning to love again. And that is so sweet. Give me another card for finding spirit and ancestors. finding a liar. Page of Swords in reverse. You could be finding out who the bowl is. You found the liar. I think that's what you did. You didn't find your liar. At your best, you are loved. What am I trying to say? I had to look y'all. I was to tell y'all something. This is so funny. I miss y'all. Y'all can't tell. Give me another card for finding. I think you're going to find out who the mole is, the liar, or, or this is exposing who this liar energy is. This manipulative, this person that's out here, no respect on your name. Let's just, just go to spirit guides. Tell us about our spirit guides. What do the spirit guides want us to know? Bitch, 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 this is the spirit guide said. Nigga, what? I seen another card down here. The Empress came out in reverse. Shall I take it, y'all? Somebody must got a toxic ass mama, y'all. Y'all must got a shady mama that's been hiding something from y'all. I think y'all got a shady mama. Tell me about this mud. Who is mud? The Empress in reverse. Tell me about the past. I don't give a damn. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear you whine. I've been through enough. And this is too much. So, no. Tell me about mud in reverse, spirit and ancestors. Why is mud in reverse? Oh, she want to fight. This bitch mad. Somebody got a mad mama, man. Mad mama. Mad baby mama. Oh, now this son. Silly hoe, right? This, this nigga tried me. He up here talking about, you know what the fuck? You know what the fuck wrong with you Detroit women? Y'all don't want to help a nigga. I'm not help a nigga. Okay, go on. Tell us how you really feel. That's what I told him. Tell, tell me how you really feel. He's like, y'all sit up there. Y'all want a nigga to spend some money on y'all. Y'all always want a nigga money. Y'all want a nigga to do stuff for y'all. Y'all can't even just wait. You can't just get, give a nigga time. You can't this. You can't that. You can't do this, 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 that, and that. I was like, when a baby crying, do you got to get that baby time before you get the fucking milk? Is that what you need to do? Did the baby need to give you time before it started crying and screaming and hollering? And then, this would piss him off because he had been in jail before. I was like, so, you, I, I went hard on him, y'all. I ain't going to lie. I, I ate his soul, okay? I snatched it. And I was like, you know, I ended it with like, you know what, you niggas get on my nerve. Because you get to talking all this bumpy face crap to women. But I bet you when you in jail and that sergeant tell you to sit your punk ass down, you sit your punk ass down, right? You get knocked out like your daddy used to, didn't you? So then you sit up here and try to get buff chested with the dog on women. But soon as a man enters into the building, cracker, or the law, or whatever, all of a sudden your chest hairy, your, your chest, your hair then retreated back into your skin, and you crossing your legs like a fucking puppy. But you got the nerve to tell a woman what she need to do, or what the hell we need to do. What the hell makes y'all think we about to sit around and take care of y'all while y'all live a fantasy in y'all head on how rich y'all gonna get? Now, he was mad because 
He didn't want to work until he got money. He wanted the woman to wait till this imaginary money came for him. That's what he wanted. He wanted somebody to support him until the imaginary money came. So, I have played that for him. Because he told me I was hard to please. Oh, and I had told him, look, if you don't have the bare necessities, okay, how do you expect me to take you serious? Because you don't have no house, no car, or job. And then you didn't have your social security card. Like, you know, when you start getting to know somebody, y'all spending more time together and you starting to, uh, why you not doing this? Why you not this? Why you not, what's, like, what's going on? Then he said he ain't have a social security card. He need to get a social security card. He need to get all of this fucking stuff. And then I was supposed to sit down and do it for him. No, bitch, not never, ever, ever in your fucking life. Is you dumb? Only person I'm sitting down uh, coercing through something with is my goddamn sons and nephews. I'm not doing that for no. You need to go to your mama. He gonna say, why did he fuck? Why the fuck did he bring my mama up? Because that's who the fuck that you. This queen, this empress in reverse, you need to go holler at her, bro. Anyway, y'all, I had to tell him, I ain't never been a silly hoe. <laughs> hey, and then you know what? A lot of dudes in my neighborhood I grew up with, you know, they didn't got a lot, of, they, they didn't took over, they started to take over the community again. They just started their little businesses and stuff, right? So they know my my dad passed, my other bro brother passed, and um, my other brother's incarcerated. So they really do live a helping hand out. So now I got my son out here making sure he shake hands with them. So like when he needs stuff, he know where to go. And you know, a lot of them gonna be like, oh, that's such a good son. And then if they don't know something or he not articulating it correctly to them, they gonna call like, what, what the hell your son up here supposed to be doing? You know what I'm saying? You need a silly hoe to do whatever you want to do. Hey, he, 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 I, 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 that motherfucker don't see this shit. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles for Cancer Leo Cut, Spirit and Ancestors. You should take a message from me. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles for Cancer Leo Cut, Spirit and Ancestors. Behind. It said the page of wands is in reverse again, and that's how this read started off with a page of wands. It's a new offer, a new business venture, a new job, or something that's taking place here. That's uh some bad news. Somebody's about to find out you got a job or you didn't went towards some or you got some money, and they not about to like it. Why is the page of wands in reverse for the ace of pentacles? Somebody could have did something bad to get some money. Somebody probably went to go get some money and it went wrong. The nun is here, a hermit. Uh, Virgo. This is the bad news. This is the bad news. You know what? This Empress in Reverse is about to find out. These two hoes, both of them, the Queen of Wands in Reverse and this Empress in Reverse, is about to find out you being in Hermit has brought you this Ace of Pentacles. That's their bad news. They're going to fight, 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 fight for something. Probably this Ten of Pentacles that this Emperor has left you. Somebody about to fight, fight, fight and lose because you went within, you did the healing, you did the work. You was the supportive one. You was the one that was always there. You was the one who dealt with their manipulation, their control and their abuse. And they wondering why you wound up receiving the Ace of Pentacles. And they're trying to argue and fight. They might try to have you hemmed up in court or physically try to fight you. But Bass is here, okay? Your ancestors is here. Your spirit guides have gave you this Ace of Pentacles. And ain't nobody going to be able to stop that. And don't let nobody stop it. Don't give up on your Pentacles for nobody. 
your new beginning in love, business, or whatever. Because these people are going to be mad because you're going to take off. Tell me about peace, spirit and ancestors for Cancer Leo. Because let me get the heck out of here. Talk for y'all to die. Who is this peace energy? Ten of Cups is in reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse for peace, spirit and ancestors? You know what? Ooh, Two of Cups. Look, this Ace of, this Emperor and this Empress in reverse. This got to be a mom and dad. And the mom and dad. Because I always, I'm going to tell y'all what I always used to say. My mama's son, Ring Tone, used to be on my phone with a woman so heartless. But look at this. This Ten of Cups turned Two of Cups. I've never seen nothing like that. What, what does this even mean? I don't even know what this means. How did, it's like an ending new beginning. This is an ending new beginning. This is most definitely an ending in a new beginning. Unless you ended something with this King of Pentacles and his obsession and you got a new beginning. Excuse me. It's gonna bring some type of peace. Tell me about this. Uh, but it's a snake out here. Look at this motherfucker right here. But see, the Kimmy snake isn't um isn't bad. It's high letter level of commitment. Okay, but the snake being out here with this this nigga, this snake right here, you probably found out somebody is cunning. Somebody could be trying to con you into a relationship, into some type of commitment. Tell me about two of cups. Why is the two of cups here for the ten of cups in reverse? Somebody trying to snake you, bro. Tell me about this two of cups for Cancer Leo Cups. Baby, marriage? What? Y'all about to say I do? It's a union taking place here. A, it's a Taurus. Tell me about this uh Taurus. I mean, damn, this hair fine. To hook to Queen of Pentacles, baby. So it's a Queen of Wands in reverse out here, an Empress in reverse, and then it's the Queen of Pentacles out here. This could be somebody who you didn't have. Oh, oh. This is the doggone magician in reverse, the uh, will of fortune in reverse, and the lovers is in reverse. Somebody has ended something with somebody. This could possibly be saying sex, honestly. Digging the sea, digging on you, digging on me, baby, 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 it's on like that. I gotta be in love with someone like that. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles now. Hold on now. I think you're gonna be sitting on your phone on your own. I mean, not on your own, but you about to receive a real ass connection here, a committed like this is somebody coming with that big ass offer. Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles together. Oh, baby, you got that big, big, big offer. Because you looking hot and right with to somebody right now. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Who is this Queen of Pentacles, Spirit and Ancestors? Uh, yeah, you just started this new cycle in your life. This is what they did not want to happen. This is what they was trying to prevent. Look, death is here. You rebirthed yourself. You're the queen of pentacles. You are the wife. You are wifey material. This is how everybody see you as a wife. So clearly, this empress in reverse lost her baby daddy slash husband. The queen of wine, she third party this situation. She lost too. This must be a high powerful ass man. That's what had happened. A lot of people wanted this man and it wasn't. They didn't make it. They didn't succeed. This man always had his eyes on you. Ooh, child. Tell me about manifesting spirit and ancestors for Cancer Leo Cups. Why is this manifestation this year? Tell me about this manifestation spirit and ancestors for Cancer Leo Cups. Judge me. Baby, the ancestors out here. Wow, I'm getting nervous. Like I'm I'm like, wow. Whatever y'all raised y'all want to during the moon, whatever y'all did, a decision has been made. Protection has been granted. Ancestors have been sent out and karma has been unleashed.
Tell me about this judgment. What was the judgment, Spirit and Ancestors? You honestly see yourself for who you truly are. You know your powers. You're starting to pay attention, pay attention to the powers of the ancestors and how they come and drop those little gems in your lap. Because I'm not going to lie. The last three days. What's today? What's today? Today's Saturday. So the way these last three days have went for me. It's nothing else I could do but show gratitude. I don't know what even else to say because I don't even know what else to do. Just go buy some fruit and give it to the altar because mm -hmm. it's really been it's really been beautiful when you ask for that clarity and that confirmation and you get it and you find out you're moving in the right direction. It's just even more and then like I said the little gems that's dropped in your lap for you to keep going and the stuff like like you did you dropped the ball on this job you dropped the ball on that job you worked one day at that job and then you land this job and then you land this job and this job is the bang meanwhile you're doing another job and another job and another job and you got all of this revenue just circling around you and it's just like what are we doing <laughs> like I was telling my kids, like, y'all want to know why I was sleeping all that time, resting, laying around the house, not doing nothing. Y'all like, you ain't even cook. You know, they was up there complaining like a motherfucker. Like, what's wrong with you? You don't work. You don't cook. You don't do nothing, lady. <laughs> now, now you see why. Because I'm exhausted. The last three weeks, exhausted. Tell me about this judgment energy, but I asked for it. So, let's get it. How about the 16 challenges? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Victory! I know this 10 pinnacles here, folks. We're gonna try that again. It was in reverse. Yeah, it's like you 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 leaving poverty behind. You you steam fast away from poverty. We're going to let it come out again, however it's supposed to come out. But Cherry is here. You have went through a rebirth. Because I, I got like 30 arcanas out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven arcanas. You went through a rebirth, and this is what nobody wanted. They wanted your injustice that was done towards you to break you, to make you fold. They did. What cancer going cancer Leo Cubs going on this chariot stink? That's that seven out here. And, and whoever said 12, 12, when when you when I seen your message and your your message had said 12, 12 on the clock, it was 12, 12 on the clock when I seen your message pull. Ah! Okay. I posted that. That's the name of this reading. 12, 12, whatever the hell that means. Look at this toxic emperor. Tell me about this uh, chariot. Where's this chariot going, Spirit and Ancestors for Cancer Leo Cups? Three of Swords. Straight to heartbreak. Grief. This chariot could be coming in from grief. Somebody's heartbroken. A lot of y'all could be heartbroken right now. Connection probably didn't work out how you thought this Ten of Cups, somebody you really liked. Somebody you possibly have potential with or thought about. Or you could be finding out somebody committed elsewhere. I don't know, but... It's, it's some heartache here. Tell me about this Three of Cups. This Six of Pentacles. I said Three of Cups. Spirit, tell me about this Three of Swords. Some type of equal reciprocity. Somebody probably really, really wanted to commit to you. I think you and somebody else are hurt. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Somebody really wanted a par partnership with you, and I don't think it worked out. Tell me about this Three of Swords, Spirit and Ancestors. Who about to be in this Three of Swords energy? You could be feeling like a failure, like everything, like you, you lost in a connection. I really think this is a connection that was lost. Tell me about this Three of Swords. You could just be hurt from the betrayal, finding out the betrayal. Look what's it. Look, look at this. Five of Swords here. This is a betrayal. It happened. Tell me about this friendship and let's get the heck on, y'all. I ain't did no reading this long and I don't know how long. Tell me about this friendship, Spirit and Ancestors. 
Tell me about friendship. Ace of Wands. Some type of blockage in a friendship. Some whoever this person is that betrayed you, you really thought they were a friend. You thought they was part of your spiritual tribe. Look at these women all together, bonding together with the moon, sun, moon, whatever, dancing with the sun, dancing under the moon. Nah, because if you pay attention, you see how the light is on her. So she was the one that received received the light. The rest of them could have been the ones that wound up being jealous. This is like a, a follower type thing. They wanted to follow her because they seen that she, you know how that people try to act like they don't know that? That you was the one who got the message, got the light. Because, you know, it is nice that everybody could get it, but it doesn't go like that. So, if you can't respect your friend for being the one that received that doggone light, just just know, like, love, really, all her damn friends, she really got all them girls with her. And I really do respect that because at the end of the doggone day, they all going to be up with her. They all see she got it. But they know what they got. They the dancers. The one of them do her head. The other one do the nails. Like we lit because she's lit. <sighs> Tell me about this Ace of Wands in reverse for this friendship. Y'all aren't communicating because Queen of Cups in reverse. Ooh, you withdrawing that energy on that hoe. You did it. You did it. Baby, you withdrew that fucking energy on that hoe and told her her damn pussy steak and the nigga forgot to tell her. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, this Queen of Cups in reverse. Ooh, King of Wands, here he go. Didn't this come out earlier, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands? Look at this. Tell me about this King of Wands. Why this King of Wands in reverse? Oh, he determined to get you <laughs> Y'all are y'all. Oh, this person is not about to play with y'all. Why is this King of Wands in reverse for friendship? Y'all probably got a sick friendship and y'all not talking right now. I think, look, partnership. Y'all love each other. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. Let's fight. Y'all not talking to each other, but you all have a friendship and it's lingering between you all. I It's a love here. It's something missing here. This is because I'm too happy. Y'all look crazy. Tell me about this Queen of Cups in reverse. Why she in reverse? Why the Queen of Cups in reverse? Nine of Swords. Oh no, this ain't no friendship. Look what the motherfucker tried to do. No, this. You know what? I just, I just, I just stuck my own stuff in the mouth. Like I said, this could be a female too in some type of friendship with you and you're realizing this person has betrayed you this is some backstabbing ass energy this whole attacked you she did she tried to attack you probably spiritually tried to attack you because you didn't fall for whatever game she needed you to fall for she probably sent fear anxiety stress worry and crap towards you you could be overwhelmed up all night having nightmares stressed the hell out that's what this queen of cups could be doing tell me about this king of wands in reverse why is this king of wands in reverse, spirit and ancestors? Why is he in reverse? Tell me about the king of wands in reverse. Spanx, he a hung man, baby. He a hung man. Why is the king of wands a hung man? If you love me. Eight of wands. Communicating with you. He hung on communicating with you. I think he want to say something to you. I think they want to say something to you. Somebody is being patient. They probably waiting on you to say something to them. Or you know what? They can't communicate with you. You block them. Tell me more about this friendship energy, Spirit and Access. Why is this a friendship? What happened to this friendship spirit and ancestors? The nine of cups is in reverse. Somebody was selfish. Somebody feel like the other person was selfish. It wasn't invested. They weren't, you weren't fulfilled emotionally. Something, some type of emotional blockage has happened. Somebody could be having bad-ass nightmares, though. 
Because this nightmare is on top of nightmares. It's two nines. This is somebody having some serious ass nightmares. And, and you know, when somebody else is unsatisfied with themselves, it's probably, they probably thinking like, why do I keep going through this? Uh, you know what? You two collectively could be mad that this friendship didn't work out, relationship, whatever it was. Y'all mad it didn't work out this because y'all really wanted a partnership. Y'all really wanted to come together in this, but it was some type of third party entity involved in this energy. And I don't know if it was work, business, finances, money, greed, selfishness, whatever it was. It could have been this devil energy that had came out earlier, but it was something here blocking you all from achieving y'all highest of y'all high and investing in each other properly. It could have been um, somebody being seductive, somebody's obsessive, somebody is controlling, abusive. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. Why this Three of Pentacles for this friendship? This Six of Cups is in reverse. Somebody hasn't let something go from the past. Somebody isn't healed from the past. I think somebody isn't healed from the past. I think they want to project it onto you, but they have to pay attention to what happened to them in the past too. It's easier to project. Just, just, just when you think you about to blame somebody else. Really take a step back and look at yourself. Honestly, another thing, the both of y'all probably need to let go of this past energy. Like... Whoever was the one who could actually admit that they was the cause of the end of this friendship should come forth. But I'm sorry, me being a bigger person is not going to happen at this point. I'm not about to, you hurt me and I'm going to be the big person call you. Like, so that's not going to happen. And you know, it's like that video that's going around too, how that woman told that friend the cold hard ass truth. I really feel like a lot of people cannot handle this rise that you are on. They cannot handle what's coming towards you, what's been coming towards you. They cannot handle how you've been solidifying yourself and setting yourself up. They cannot handle your abundance. And I never read like this before. People that can't handle somebody else being great. Like, relief. It's easy to say that, but not when they want your place. So, I'm gonna give y'all some love shit since I done went this far with it. Let's fall in love. Why don't we fall in love? Don't let loneliness, fear, or missing some good sex let you take somebody that's just flat out no good for you back in your life. Don't let it happen. Messages, spirit, and ancestors. Give me what's out here for cancer, Leo Cut. Any any romance energy for Cancer for the Old Cups? Any romance at all? Any romance? Can we get any love? You have my beloved. I, I'm about to do this here. Why would they together be my beloved in that snake ass motherfucker? <laughs> okay, let's see what they just want to say. It says, deep in my and your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. I hate this, because what do you mean? <laughs> Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. That's what's making you feel me that way. Michelle Lake and blow. Anyway, y'all, nice talking to y'all. Like, share, and subscribe. I could, I could pull some readings off for y'all Sunday and today too. I ain't going nowhere today. I'm staying home. I'm about to cook. I'm chilling. I'm exhausted. I want to chill. I'm probably going to watch Velma and Jinkies and just whatever. Oh, Lion King. What's that? What's that show? Woman King. Y'all never seen it. I'm about to go pull it up and watch it so people can stop telling me about it. And uh, like, share, subscribe. Mwah.